So consider this program. This program was asked to get 2008, and it was based on pointers. And uh, those who have not uh, done functions yet, because I'll be covering uh, functions after arrays, right? So you can skip this video. But if you are familiar with the functions, then you can uh, uh, watch this video. Okay? Now consider this program. So whenever we execute a program, the program execution starts from the main function. So that let's directly jump to the main function. In this main function, we are having three variable where this c is an integer variable. So this c is an integer variable. Then this b is a pointer which is pointing to a variable. This is b which is a pointer, and then a. Is again a pointer which is pointing to a pointer, and that pointer is again pointing to a variable. Okay, so let us suppose the address of C is one thousand, the address of B is two thousand, and the address of A is three thousand. Okay, now in the line number two, the value stored at variable C is four. Therefore, C is now going to store four. Okay. Now in the in the line number two, next statement is b is equal to m percent c, right? That means we are going to store the address of variable c into b, right? Therefore, the variable b is now going to store one thousand. Okay. In the next statement, we are having a is equal to m percent b, right? That means we are going to store the address of pointer b into A, right? So the address of B is two thousand. Therefore, A is now going to store two thousand. Okay. Now in the line number three, we are calling a printf statement, and in this printf statement, we are calling a function, and whatever the value which will be returned by the function will be printed by this printf statement. Okay. And what are the parameter parameters which are passing in this printf statement? We are passing the value stored at variable C, the value stored at the pointer B, and the value stored at the pointer. A, okay. Now these values will be copied in this function. So in this function, we are having three variables. One is x. So let us suppose this is x, this is p y, and this is p p z. Okay. So because C uses call by value, so this value which in C will be copied into x. The value stored in B will be copied into p y, and the value stored in A will be copied into p p z. And this p y is a pointer which is pointing to a variable, and this p p z is a pointer which is pointing to a pointer, and that pointer is pointing to a variable. Okay. So when we call this function, the value stored in is which the value which is copied in the variable x is now four. The value which is copied into this pointer p y is one thousand. And the value which is copied into the pointer p p z is two thousand. Okay. Now in this function we are having two more variables that are y and z. So let us suppose this is the variable y, and this is the variable z. So the next line we are doing star star p p z plus equal to one. Right. You can write this statement as Star star p p z is equal to star star p p z plus one. Okay. Now, if you look at this statement here, we are using two stars, right? If you bracket this complete statement, it will be like this. Okay. That means whatever the address stored in p p z, we are going to do star of this, and whatever the value which we got after that, we are going to do star of that. That means the value stored at uh, p p z is two thousand. That is, which is the address. So, because of this first star, we are going to go. We will go to this location two thousand. So, we'll go to this location two thousand, and we'll take the value one thousand, right? So, because of this first star, we will get one thousand. So, this statement will become star of one thousand. Okay, and. Star of one thousand means we are going to we'll go to the location one thousand and we'll take the value. Okay, so the location one thousand is storing value four, so this will return me four. So this statement will become four plus one, and this four plus one value is stored in this location which is which will be given by this statement. Okay, okay. From this first star, 
we'll go to the location 2000 and we'll see what is the value stored at the, that location so we, after this first star we'll get the value as star of 1000 okay so because of this second star we'll go to the location 1000 and we'll store the value which is given by this so in the location 1000 we are going to store 5 okay so the next statement is z is equal to star ppz and I think there is a uh, misprint here. So it is z is equal to star star ppz. Okay. So here z is equal to star star ppz. Right. That means the value which will be stored in z is given by this star star ppz. Okay. So from this first star we will go to the location 2000 and we will take the value. Therefore, we will get star of 1000. Okay. And from this second star, we will go to the location 1000 and we will take the value and the value stored at the location 1000 is 5. Therefore, this z is equal to star star ppz means we will get the value 5 from here and we will store the value 5 in this z. So, therefore, the variable z is now going to store 5. Okay. Now, in the next statement, we are having star py plus is equal to 2. So, this statement, so let us, let me number them. This is statement number A and this is statement number B. So in this line number B, we are having star py plus is equal to 2 and we can write it as star of py is equal to star py plus 2 and this py is pointing to the location 1000. Therefore, we can make the statement as star of 1000 plus 2. That means we will go to the location 1000. Here we will take the value. So the, look at, uh, the value stored at the location 1000 is 5. So this star of 1000 plus 2 makes 5 plus 2. And we will store this value in this location 1000. Therefore it will make star of, uh, here it, it is also star of 1000. That means we are going to store 5 plus 2 in that location 1000. So that, that means this value is 7. And 7 will now be stored in the location 1000 which will update this value of C to 7. Okay. Now the next statement is y is equal to star of py. Okay. That means we'll take the value which is, uh, we'll go to the location which is pointed by p, we'll take the value and we'll store that value into this variable y. So location pointy, pointed by p, uh, py is 1000. So we'll go to the location uh, 1000, right? So this is the location 1000. And from this location 1000, I am going to take this value 7 and will store this value 7 into y. So therefore, 7 will be stored into this variable y. Okay. And the next statement we are having in the statement number c, we are having x plus is equal to 3. So in the statement number c, we are having x plus is equal to 3. Right. That means we are going to in increment the value of x by 3. The statement can be written as x is equal to x plus 3. So the value stored in the variable x is 4 and we are going to increment this value to 3. So therefore, this value will become 7. Okay. Now in this return statement, we are returning x plus y plus z. Okay. So the value of x is 7. The value stored in y is 7 and the value stored in z is 5. Therefore, 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. Therefore, this function is going to return with a value which is 19. Right. So this printf statement is now going to print 19 and the option number B is correct. Okay.